is Italian in ethnicity? That is, I feel as an American, a challenging question from my perspective. Is Italian in ethnicity? I'm sure the right answer is no, it's not. But as an American, and really what this video is about, this is my confusion as an American more so than even answering the question itself. I, I want to tell you why I'm even asking this. First of all, someone in the comment section asked this week, is Italian an ethnicity? And here's me sorting it out in real time, okay? I'm sure those of you who are not new to my channel know the story. My mom's half Italian and half Mexican, right? But you can't be half Mexican on a global scale because that's seen as that instead you're mestizo. And in theory, maybe I'm castizo or whatever. But Mexican is a nationality, not an ethnicity. I understand that, but what about the Italian side of her? Of course, also, if you've been keeping up with all my videos, you know that my mom took a DNA test. She's 2% Italian as far as DNA goes, yet her grandparents, my great-grandparents, came from Italy on that side. So, culturally, they were 100% Italian. They only spoke Italian. They had Italian names. Everything about them was Italian, except for their actual DNA. It was barely, they were barely Italian. It's like for me, I'm like about 8% Eastern European, all right? But that would be like me thinking that I was 100% Eastern European, and really I'm like 8%. But for my great grandparents, they came from Italy, and their minds, they're 100% Italian, okay? But clearly they weren't. If my mom only showed up 2% Italian, I showed up 0%. And I think my sister might have showed up like 1%. So it's, it's very little. But does it even matter in the end? Because is Italian, is, is that truly an ethnic background? Maybe it's all in how we answer, ask the question. Maybe I can't say is Italian an ethnicity. Maybe I should say is Italian an ethnic background? Where do we decide which is which? See, for example, this whole thing falls apart with the Mexican thing. My mom can't say that she's half Mexican because Mexican is a nationality. It's not its own DNA thing. It's, it's a hybrid, right? Uh, between the Native Americans in modern day Mexico and the Europeans. It's some sort of mix. Now my grandma ain't from Mexico, that was Mexican of descent was likely 80% Native American, based on the fact that I show 21.6% uh, of, the, of uh, the Native American via Mexico, modern day Mexico. She likely was m mostly that. So I, 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 it's easy to realize, okay, yeah, get that. Mexican isn't a thing as far as an ethnicity, but Italian is different. Because you can clearly see on your, like for me, my heritage, I can clearly see where it says. But well, I can't because it doesn't show Italian for me, only my mom. So on my mom, it clearly shows Italian, right? It's just that things are so mixed in Italy that it almost seems like being, even though this doesn't make sense, I'm gonna say it. It's almost as if you are Italian by DNA. It's like you're this little bit of Italian DNA, but then you're all these other things like Spanish and Jewish and Portuguese and Middle Eastern and all these little things that add up to make this Italian mix. So on that train of thought, it gets me thinking, well, what is, how do we separate which nations are truly their own DNA versus those who aren't? Like for example, uh, very specifically, through my heritage, you can see Nigerian, right? Very specifically, you can see Iberian, which isn't a country in itself now, but let me think of a better example. Very specifically, you can see English, right? Very specifically, you can see Finnish, things that relate to a country that exists today in the world. But not everyone can you do that for. Uh, and I think on a similar note would be if you have Jewish DNA. I mean, I know that they break it down on my heritage. You know, can, you can go back to the Middle East, you can go to Europe, you can go to all these, but ultimately not every strand of DNA matches up to a country. And then there's others, for example, the Western European one, right? W which I am 
basically a third, you know, a third of me uh, is, is arguably German and French, you know, and Dutch. But how much of each of those, I guess we can't know the way the test is. So I think it really gets confusing if you take this too literally and too seriously as far as all this goes. Like, am I any less Italian? For me to be a quarter Italian, because my mom's half Italian, is my quarter Italian any less of a quarter Italian than someone who also is an American, has a mom who's half Italian, and they showed up 25% Italian because they're... So, me showing up 0% Italian, but my mom showed up 2%, even though she's half, and then another person standing right next to me, same situation, their mom is half Italian, but then on their test, they showed up 25%. Does that make me any less Italian? because the numbers don't back it up, is ultimately my question. Knowing that for who knows how long, a quarter of my ancestors operated in Italy. Up until 100 years ago, they were in Italy. Everything that came before that, Italy. However they got there, it was through Italy. Am I any less Italian than someone who shows, for to be a quarter Italian, Am I any less Italian than someone who shows up more Italian than me? Keeping in mind that my mother's grandparents moved here from Italy a hundred years ago with Italian names. They only spoke Italian. Everything about them was Italian. It's just that it doesn't show up in the DNA. So am I, am I not truly a quarter Italian? Or am I still a quarter Italian? And if someone showed up to be 25% Italian on their DNA test, would that make them more Italian than me? Even though ultimately, as an American, it's almost irrelevant because then it gets into the thought process of, well, actually, as an American, all you can really say is you, ha you are of Italian descent. You can't own that part of a nationality. So in theory, that makes me think that with my, with, uh, my great grandparents on that side coming from Italy, that in theory, I'm just as much Italian as someone else's mom who's also half Italian. Like my wife, for example, her mother is also half Italian. And of course, she went through Ancestry.com and it lumps uh, Greek and Italian together. And when my wife took her test, it showed that she was 20% Greek and barely Italian. So it's like, okay, so for example, when you've seen the videos with my wife and I, in theory, we're both a quarter Italian. But... Am I any more Italian than she is? Even though our moms are both half Italian. Let me, let's really sort this out. I don't think that this is an easy answer. I think there's a lot of moving parts here to, to figure that out. Because I've done a lot of, I spent a lot of time focusing on my mom, her, her, her ethnic background going through Mexico, but not as much here recently on the Italian side. So how much credit do we really need to give the numbers when it shows Italian DNA versus your ancestors, my ancestors as an American, a quarter of my ethnic history comes from Italy. How do I sort that out? Help me figure this out. As we basically break down the concept that Italian is an ethnicity, because it seems at the end of the day, Italian, as an American of Italian descent, Italian is more of, an, of a cultural identity as part of my history, but the DNA matters so little in theory, especially making so many videos as I have about Italian DNA and learning that most people who think that they're 100% or half Italian are not even close to that, but instead they're a mix of other things. I think being Italian as an American, it has to do with more about where your ancestors came from, having came from Italy and having had that background and having been immigrants and then being watered down enough to where you get a guy who probably doesn't even look Italian. Everyone says I look more Spanish and German than anything. This is what I'm sorting out. It's better that you answer the question than me. There's 10 minutes of my version of explaining it. 
Now how about you spend a minute or two leaving a comment?